Today is the happiest day of my life because I've gotten something that I've always wanted to try and now the day has finally come. I'm Grant Harding. I'm a licensed pharmacist in three states. And today we're going to be trying a nebulizer, baby. <laughs> This is something I've been wanting to do for a very long time because I have several videos that some of them have like almost like 10 million views where I talk about how much I hate mucinex. I think it's garbanzo beans. Guafenacine is one of my least favorite meds because it just gets used because it's safe, not necessarily effective. But one of the things I do love for getting gunk out of your lungs is a saline nebulizer. This will get the gunk out of your lungs for sure and I'm really, really happy I can try this here today. The FDA does not list this as an over-the-counter medication, but it is legal to buy. So it is kind of difficult to find for that reason. Like, I guess you could say the, the folks who are in charge of distributing saline solution require a prescription, even though there is no legal reason to require a prescription. However, our friends at Amazon have fixed that. I bought this off Amazon. I'll have the link in the description if you want to try it out yourself. So 0.9%, this is just sodium chloride. That's what saline means. It's just sodium ions and chloride ions in water basically so they do indeed make a hypertonic saline solution which I will have later and that is a 7% the hypertonic saline is more for folks who have like cystic fibrosis but I'm interested to try them both today and I'm going to try them both but we're gonna start with the 0.9% here today and the reason why I'm so excited about this today is because I've made videos in the past about mucinex the active and I'll use that term loosely ingredient guafenacine is junko garbanzo beans trash nuggets it does not work glufenacine is supposedly is a mucolytic that supposedly helps break up that gunk in your chest and then you can cough it out why they sell it with a cough suppressant nobody knows i've heard theories people just look uh very silly i think whenever they try to explain to me why glufenacine is sold with a cough suppressant <laughs> In any event, I am not a fan, and I don't recommend anyone takes guafenacine unless you just want something to do. However, the guafenacine liquid actually does have something called a demulcent effect, and it does kind of help soothe your throat, by the way. So that could be part of the reason why people think it's effective, but alas, I digress. But what I am a fan of are these saline nebulizers. So I definitely want to try this today. I'm so excited. I've never actually used a nebulizer before in my life, but let's get our hero of the hour set up here my little nebby this is my little nebby debby this is way more complicated than i ever thought i think we should we should give her a name this is definitely a feminine machine what do you think we should call her i like debby because it rhymes with nebby but i mean this definitely looks like a carol oh i should put cartoons and stickers on here so we got a hose and then we got a mask. I'm gonna use the adult mask. Look at this cute little baby mask. Aww. This was way more complicated than you could have ever imagined. Like an elderly person, people who kind of struggle on their own, they would not be able to do this. Anyway, this is the compressor is what it's kind of referred to as. And there's just one important part I want to show you here. This is the filter. And this is literally the cheapest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's just like some sort of spongy material like it's literally nothing and then you connect one end of the hose here um, that part's actually pretty obvious but getting the actual mouthpiece set up was a little bit more difficult it gets difficult because there's so many different options so i'm going to use the mouthpiece because i'm cool like that for kids and you know folks who probably can't use a mouthpiece you know that's why they have those masks there but anyway so this is where my mouth will go and then the other end of the hose connects right here i'm not going to connect it just yet because i actually want to run this a little bit before i connect it and then right here is where you empty the medicine in and that's where i'll be putting the normal saline in here but i just want to run this real quick just to kind of get it moving kind of cool you can like feel it coming out i have the normal saline vials or nebules in here take a look at how cool these are they're little unit dosed right so you just use one and it's got this little twisty cat reminds me of kool-aid bottles remember those things were cool i say were but there's no past tense needed i still buy them so let's hook up our handy 
little guy here. Now I noticed pretty much every nebulizer is different in some ways, so you just kind of got to get used to yours. And all we do here is just put it in, twist off my little Kool-Aid cap without making a mess. By the way, strictly speaking, and this is another reason why this should never require prescription. This is actually not a drug, very, very strictly speaking. The definition of a medication or drug is something that has a pharmacokinetic or pharmacodynamic response on or by the body, and this does not. So this is going into your lungs, and it's basically just kind of washing your lungs, just kind of pulling the gunk out. There's no pharmacological anything going on. Thankfully, I do have a slight bit of congestion today in my chest. It's nothing like really bad, but it's enough that I'll be able to to use this to wash out my lungs. Okay, so let's turn this bad boy on. It should start coming out of the nozzle immediately. Yeah, see that? So Wow. This is pretty fun. Smoking a nebulizer. Oh, you can't even see the smoke here. You can see if I put it like next to my shirt. Like I'm steaming my shirt. <coughs> <clears throat> this is a lot more than what I imagined. Like this, this there's five ml in here, and it, it's not easy to take all five ml. I just felt like the biggest glob of gunk just fly out of my chest right there. Wow, that is so interesting. So it didn't hurt my lungs at all. In fact, the thing that you notice quickly is how salty it smells. It's almost like you're at the beach. Like it has a very, very, very briny scent to it. So when I was inhaling it, it kind of made me feel like I was drinking salt water a little bit. The only difficult part was setting it up and then the sheer quantity like i didn't realize how much 5 ml was and as far as like a nebulized amount it is kind of intense in that way like taking the whole vial is kind of difficult if you've ever wondered why we use 0.9% sodium chloride, it's because 0.9% of sodium and chloride in water is about the same tonicity as physiological medium. So physiological medium is like blood and also uh, your lacrimal fluid as well. Tonicity is the ability of a solvent or a solute or a combination of both to expand or shrink a blood cell basically and what this means is in 0.9 percent if you put a red blood cell in it nothing will happen it'll be happy it'll be the same size and it won't be like out of place and if you put 0.9 percent sodium chloride or something that has a similar tonicity in your eye it won't burn or anything it'll be perfectly fine the reason for this is because the chemical properties of that concentration keeps everything fine. But if we increase the concentration to what I'll try now is 7% saline or 7% sodium chloride, it'll actually pull moisture out of a red blood cell and it'll shrink. It's because the, the gradient of the concentration wants to equalize with the gradient inside the cell. I know that's really complicated, but Basically, the higher concentration you go, the more your red blood cells aren't happy, I guess is the best way to put it. And yes, if I put 7% in my eyeball, it's gonna sting. Now for something like a nebulizer, the tonicity really doesn't matter. What we care most about is the concentration. So this is hypertonic saline is what they call that. It's 7%, it's very concentrated. And there's, by definition, these are not medications, so they're not exerting a pharmacokinetic or pharmacodynamic response by or from or to the body. But uh, this high concentration, you could imagine, would have more of an effect on getting gunk out of your lungs, at least that's what the theory is. So we're going to try that here today. Let me take this 7% vial and put it in the nebulizer, and we'll compare the two and see which one I like better. So I'm opening up my hypertonic saline box here to get one of these nebules out. People often debate, is this a nebule? Is this a vial? Is this an ampule? Nobody seems to know. I've been calling it a vial most of my career. Very similar to the normal saline or the 0.9%. I washed out my nebulizer piece and the mouthpiece. And this is a 5ml vial. And it just goes right in here. You see this little slot? Once I put it in, then I'll close it 
uh, you just twist this to close the top. So I'm just squirting it in. Most of the time these come in 3ml vials. When we talk about like medications, I never noticed how much 5ml actually is. It is kind of uh, difficult, I think, for some folks to take an entire 5ml vial. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on now. By the way, whenever I was doing the normal saline, I actually wasn't using the nebulizer right for a medication. You're supposed to like inhale the whole thing. Like you're supposed to go like this. <laughs> but for something like uh, saline solution, it really doesn't matter. You just kind of get your fill. But for an actual medication, you want to take the whole vial. Anyway, this is much more concentrated. I can definitely feel it. I can smell it. Like this is like very, very salty uh, vapors going into my lungs. <coughs> <coughs> It works. It definitely works. Wow. That is the saltiest thing I have ever experienced in my entire life. Here, let's talk about it. So whenever I cough, <coughs> of course I can feel the gunk coming out of my chest. However, this is a little bit irritating. 7%? I mean, it's gonna get the gunk out of your lungs. And I don't think it was any better than the 0.9%, but it, it makes you cough because it's irritating. Like this is really, really concentrated stuff here. I am going to say, I really like the 0.9% better, the blue box, the lower concentration, because it seemed like it had the same effect as far as gunk clearing. The 7%, the pink box, it was kind of irritating, and it did make me cough just because it's like, whoa, that's, that's a lot, guys. Like, we need to, <clears throat> you know, get it out. I'm gonna say the normal saline for sure. Unless, I guess, for some reason, you want that cough reflex from the hypertonic saline, I guess, go for it. This experiment definitely showed me which one I prefer now, and that's the one I'm going to continue to recommend. This was so cool. I love experimenting with new medications, or in this case, devices, and I'm so happy you guys joined me. Do let me know if you've ever used a saline nebulizer or any other type of nebulizer. I never needed one, so I've never actually used one. This is my first time actually using a nebulizer, so this was a really fun experience for me. But now I know 0.9% is my favorite saline nebulizer. Thanks for sticking around, guys. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. I make lots of weird, quirky little videos about medications like this.